Welcome back. So I hope that you have successfully installed the latest version of Tableau Desktop 14 day trial. Um, so let's go ahead and start Tableau. Okay, so as soon as you fire up Tableau, you will see a screen that looks something like this, right? And on the left hand side, you will see some options like Excel, text file, access, and so on and so forth. So remember, Tableau allows you to connect to 30 plus data sources and enables you to visualize them via reports. So let's go ahead and look at a simple example. So let's go ahead and click on Excel, right? So we are going to actually connect to an Excel file. Uh, but before we do that, what I'm going to do is I am going to just open up this sample Excel file. Now this is an Excel file that will get installed automatically when you install Tableau, right? So you should already find that Excel file. So we see that this Excel file has some data and it has about four tabs, right? So we're going to precisely use this data and see if we can create some sort of reports. All right, I'll go ahead and close this and I will go ahead and open up the World Bank Indicators Workbook. So this is basically the data preparation or a data source pane that you will see, right? So you saw that there were about four tabs and you can see that those four tabs are listed over here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to drag and drop data by country. And as soon as I do that, it gives me some sample of the data that is contained inside that tab. All right. So if you see here, there is two options. One says live and one says an extract. A live connection is nothing but directly connecting to the Excel. Right? In this case, we are connecting to Excel, so it will directly connect to Excel. But if you choose extract, this simply means that Tableau will import the data into its own custom database. Now that is optimized for speed. So we'll just leave it as a live connection for now. We will explore extracts as we go on in further sessions. All right, so these are the columns that it found automatically. Right, and there is a couple of things you can do with these as well, right? So we won't go too much into it in this session, but in the coming sessions, we will look at things like what is a custom split, what is a data interpreter and so on and so forth. Okay, so um, yeah, this, this looks good. So now I'm going to use this data and create a report out of it, okay? So there is a sheet one, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on sheet one and I'll just go ahead and rename the sheet to something as world indicators. All right. So on the left hand side, you see that the two main things, one is called dimensions and the second one is called measures. So dimensions are entities like countries, employee names, regions and stuff like that. Measures are nothing but numbers like revenue, cost, profit, etc. So don't worry too much about the details for now. You will get these concepts as we go along. Now let's drag and drop something, right? So let's drag and drop country name into the report. And this is where you start creating the reports, right? So we'll just keep it very simple for now. I'll keep showing you more and more stuff as we go on in further sessions. And what I'm going to do is I am going to drag and drop a dimension, right? So let's just um, say I want to drag and drop, uh, say finance GDP, okay? And let's say something else. Um, let's find something interesting. All right, let's do the stock traded total value. And this, this is your first tabular Tableau report. Simple stuff. What we did is we connected to an Excel source 
and we are just playing around with it and we created a, a particular report very quickly all right so let's let's go a little bit more advanced into this do you remember we had four tabs in that excel and we are just using one of them so let's go ahead and play around with that how about we go ahead and look at data from another tab and kind of bring in data from that tab as well right so i'll go with my data source option again and this time what i'm going to do is i am going to drag and drop another tab so as soon as i do that it basically asks me that okay there are two tabs how do you want to join them right so there are four types of joins there is an inner join there is a left join right join and a full outer join and the the when diagrams these are called when diagrams show you you know what data will be captured in each type of joins now i'm happy to provide you with a link that you can uh, do some further reading in case you want to get acquainted or deep dive into the concept of joins but these are basic sql concepts um, and then you know these are the commonly used joins in sql all right so it's uh, there's a couple of things we need to do right so first thing is that it asks it asks me which column to join so on the on the data by country tab use the country name and here you use the country right so you join using both of them so as soon as you do that you see that you know by default it has taken an inner join and let me go ahead and just make this a left join so that all the data from the first tab is accounted for and then you see that both the data has been combined right so this is actually these are the three columns that is coming from your tab 2 right so let's go ahead and modify our report and now you see that in dimensions you you find a couple of other dimensions and attributes right so earlier you didn't find regions and sub regions but now so, since we have joined the two tabs we are seeing some additional dimensions as well so i'll go ahead and drag and drop the country and i will drag and drop the region actually i don't need the country i already have the country and i'll drag and drop the sub region right so you see how easy it is so we just took an excel file we joined two tabs within that excel file and now we have a very quick report so this all looks good right so you know how to join the data but if you notice we actually joined two tabs within the same excel file that is the same data source but what if some of your data is in an excel file and some of them is in a sql server can we join two different data systems all together let's find out all right so let's go to our data source and let's go to connections and now add a sql server connection right so this is my local sql instance so if you have sql installed you will have your own server name and if you would like to um, you know get acquainted with how to install sql how to put some sample databases i have some courses for it as well please feel free to refer to my other courses but for now basically i just wanted to show you an example now in sql i have actually installed a database called adventure works now this is basically a sample database that microsoft ships right so you see that you'll see the same database being used in many courses by different authors it's actually called adventure works and they ship a version of it with every release this is just to play around with some data so what we're going to do is connect to our sql server and then i'm going to select adventure works all right so we have these two tabs coming from excel and now i have introduced a second data source call from our sql server all right so i'm going to drag and drop this and again it's going to just ask me a couple of questions and i'm going to basically use the country name and from our country region i am going to use the name 
all right this looks good and now if I just update this it will basically join all the three data sources so you see that the country region code is coming from the SQL server I can actually run a select star from that table and you see this is the data that comes from the SQL Server box. All right, so we saw how to actually go ahead and um, you know join SQL Server and Excel. Now let's go ahead and make some modifications in the report. Now in the report, now you see there are more dimensions, right? So you see the data by country, there's regions and subregions, um, and then the country region are the three dimensions added. And this is particularly coming from our Excel file, or sorry, our SQL Server. So if I drag and drop the country region code, you see that you know it, it nicely stitches with the different data points in our Excel as well. So now if you think carefully, what we did is we scrubbed some data from um, you know, Excel, joined Excel tabs, and connected it to SQL Server, and quickly created an awesome report. Right? So imagine if you needed to do this the traditional way. You will need to hire folks who need to write code to import, stitch, and massage data from Excel and MS SQL and ultimately land them into a centralized database where you can then start creating a report. This will at least take a couple of days and will cost you some money. But with Tableau, we did the same thing in a matter of few clicks. This is where the actual power of Tableau comes into use. We will see some more exciting things in the coming session. So before we leave, I wanted to show you one more cool thing. So I will go ahead and just create a new sheet and I'll call this by something like interest rates by region, right? And I'll just drag and drop a measure and um, dimension. So I have regions and then I need all the interest rates, right? So simple stuff. So in the first tab, we have world indicators. We have all these, you know, different dimensions and metrics. And then in the second report, we have regions and their interest rates, right? So now you have two worksheets. So people will need to refer two reports, but ideally you'd like to package them into one and we call this as a dashboard. So let's go ahead and create one. So if you look at this particular icon here, it says new dashboard. So I'll go ahead and click that. And what I'm going to do is drag and drop this. So when I actually try to drop this, it actually, um, you know, uh, changes the background color to gray. That basically says where this particular sheet is going to reside. So once I drop this, it lands it over there. And then the second sheet, it gives me options where to put it. Should I put it in the top, left, right, or the bottom? So let's just put it at the bottom and then you can play around with the formatting and stuff a little bit. So we'll have a detailed course on formatting as well, but for now, it, this is just plain rearranging how to kind of deal with it. Again, you can take this and then, you know, drop it on the right side and it'll automatically adjust, right? So this is kind of a dashboard. So dashboard is nothing but, you know, a combination of um, one or more worksheets that is just packaged. All right, so before we conclude, make sure you read the material uh, whose links I have provided and ask questions in the forums as well. So in the coming sessions, we will look at more advanced concepts and um, you know introduce more and more techniques, concepts, calculations and stuff uh, as we go on. Thank you.